I have a suspicion that most of our fans are hardcore uh, sports fanatics. <laughs> and um, I think we should talk about baseball because baseball has changed significantly this season and everybody's talking about it. I mean, this oh. is a game that has been around, it's been America's pastime forever and going back to the 19th century. And now they've fundamentally changed it in these fascinating ways. Well, you've come to the right two people. This is, I know, I was, I was like, is this Do you guys a have bit? any idea is what's this happening? A bit? No, it's not it's a bit. No clue. Oh, wait, you know what? I heard that they did a bunch of stuff to make the game go faster. Yes, games were getting very long, and I think the average game at one point was pushing three hours. More than three oh. hours. More than three hours. So, Who Eduardo, feel free, to, feel free to weigh in, because you know about this, but... One of the things is there's a there's a pitch clock. So you know when yep. you'd be watching baseball and the pitcher's fidgeting and then the batter steps out of the box but then gets back in again. And you think, this is, come on, let's go. Yeah, so, so baseball players are like notorious for being habitual everything so and and superficial uh superstitious excuse me so yeah. they'll reset their batting glove after every pitch yeah and so that's what would lead to the three-hour game but now there's a pitch clock there's a pitch clock they also made there's a pitch clock so the pitcher has to pitch by a certain time yes. the batter can't be stepping out of the box all the time right it's like an automatic you strike know strike or ball. or ball right if either the pitcher or the or the batter uh goes over. The other thing they did is they made the bases bigger. How big? Are we talking like 20 feet? Well, it's so, f it's so <laughs> funny. Then, I, then clown, I'd watch baseball. Clown bases. <laughs> they're, they're, uh, they're much larger. Yes. I think they're several inches larger, which makes a huge difference. A couple inches bigger, yeah. uh, which encourages more stolen bases. For, um, it, to make the game, because the, we were getting into a rut where it was either massive home runs or strikeouts. This is like what they did to the Oscars. Now I'm understanding what's yeah, going on. Exactly. Oh, okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and... Uh, but it's got me thinking they should do more. You know, like I'm thinking, and this is a thing I've always thought about, which is, uh, and just hear me out, baseball fans, but if when you hit the ball, you're up at the plate, you hit the ball, you have the option. You can run to first oh, or good. you can run to third. That would be really exciting. Now check this out. Once you've committed to your base, your base direction, that remains your base direction for the un, until... Yeah, you have to, so you have yeah. players. Now, here's oh, the cool thing. Oh, you can't thing. just run to third and then suddenly be on third and just have one more base? Of course not. No, oh. no you once you run to third, third essentially becomes first, but there's a whole, adds a whole level of strategy. And I do want people to hear me out on this and consider this. This is my platform. It's a brilliant idea. And so you have to make a, you have to make a split second <laughs> decision about, I hit the ball, am I running to first or am I running to third? And it changes everything. Now, here's the cool thing. If you do this, you start to get players crossing each other in the base path, okay? Do they have to oh, high yeah. five or do they have to like no, they acknowledge have to do each a other? No, bridge. no, you don't, this is what happens. When players cross each other, <laughs> you use special effects and one of them, it's not dangerous, they're wearing special suits, but when they cross each other, both catch fire briefly. <laughs> It would look so fucking cool. Okay, like, you had they'd me be until like, this point. No, they'd be like a pyrotechnic burst as they crossed each other. <laughs> and it would look so cool. In an increasingly competitive job market, it's important to make sure your brand stands out from the crowd. That is important, Sona. Yeah, that's Whether what I think. you're selling vegan cupcakes from your kitchen mm -hmm. or marketing your wedding photography business. I'm just making these up. Yeah, I can tell. Squarespace <laughs> helps you create a modern platform through an engaging and aesthetically pleasing online presence. That's important. If things look nice, people will buy. With member areas, hmm. You can unlock a new <laughs> revenue stream for your business and free up time in your schedule by selling access to gated content, like videos, online courses, or newsletters. Hmm, newsletters. Yeah. <laughs> Stand out in any inbox with email for with Squarespace email campaigns. Collect email subscribers and convert them into loyal customers. Social. Display posts from your social profiles on your website. <laughs> Analytics, you wanna hear more? I'll give you some. Use insights to grow your business. Learn where your site visits and sales are coming from and analyze which channels are most effective. Good heavens and Lord above. Head to squarespace.com slash Conan for a free trial. When you're ready to launch, use offer code Conan to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Uh. Can you imagine on instant replay like a burst of flame behind each of their backs? They're fine. They're safe, but when they just as they pass each other, people would be watching the game 
hoping that players would cross each other on the base pass so they'd see that burst of flame. It's like Hunger Games because she, she has that dress that goes on fire. Exactly. And <laughs> a lot of our sports fans listening really right now. really trying to understand yeah, this by just, just putting it me. from his perspective. Right. Yeah, movies. Yes. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. I don't know about the fire. But okay. I like that might have been stupid. The fire was... Uh, Eduardo, what do you think? I like I like the idea of being able to run it's in great. whichever direction you want. But then what do you do when you hit for a double, right? And you got to run to second. You're, you're, you'll always get it to second. But then you could get two people out at the same time without even doing a double it play. Depends. Like, how do double plays work exactly? Yeah, you just, well, you just well. <laughs> step on one base and both of them are out. Uh, I don't no, understand. No, no, no. That would have to be adjusted. And again, that's where I think the flames might help. <laughs> um, don't trust me. The flames are, I know it's a little theatrical, but- uh, A I'm, little. Well, I'm going to stick to it. <laughs> okay. But um, I know there's stuff that needs to be worked out. I'm not saying that, that this is automatically, uh, you know, okay, This is done. interesting though, because aren't people- like chosen just because they play first base really well, but now they'd have to be good at first and essentially third. Right, but also what if then teams would know the guy at third base isn't as great, so we're gonna quickly, right. uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna hit the ball and he's gonna go to third, but that may end up being a mistake depending on where the other hitters in the lineup hit. Right. So I think we're, what we're basically going is from checkers to three-dimensional chess. Oh. I agree. I it think this is, is great. Is it still called first, second, and third base? I mean, is it oh, like- Oh, good question. Oh, yeah. Well- uh, Third should be- No, no. First. No, no, and no. And then uh, <laughs> first- Clearly we've chosen the right committee third. for this. <laughs> Listen, second I like this. should just be second. Yeah. yeah, second will always be second. Yeah. yeah. Um, but if first you want, if third is thirst, then so be it. And- uh, Thirst, third, and second. <laughs> What's on thirst? Yes. <laughs> What's on thirst? Third base. Thirst base. Third base. Um, I just think there was a bunch of new ways to improve the game. I agree. And is this helping the time stuff? Actually, the game's sped up now. Which Somebody is good. has to put out the fire, though, right? So that's going to take time. No, no, no. The fire is not. Don't, let's not be silly about the fire. Oh. <laughs> the fire is not a thing to be ridiculed or. This isn't funny. What it is is it's just a quick pyrotechnic burst when uh, they when they cross each other, got it. and um, it's just going to look very cool. No one's. What are they wearing? They have stuff on their head that's fireproof. Like, no, no. My hair, hair caught oh. on fire once just by blowing out a birthday candle. Yeah, so it's so easy. <laughs> but Sona, the amount so of stuff in your hair. Come on. No, it's so uh, it's ridiculous. What's I'm just in saying there. it's so easy for something to catch on fire. You you. Practically work candle wax into your hair every morning. <laughs> Come, you're one it... to talk. Oh, Come please. On. There's nothing in here. <laughs> okay. There's just some mayonnaise and some spackle. And that's it. <laughs> I'm not going to be ridiculed. I just think a lot of people are going to die. Uh, I that think, would make it more exciting. Well, first of all, yeah. that would get oh. some attention. Oh. But Hunger Eduardo, games. that's what I'm pitching is we keep all the changes they've made. But when you hit the ball, you can choose your own base path. I like it. And I would like the league to start considering my ideas. I think that baseball has taken the first step, but needs to take literally maybe nine more steps. You want to like professional wrestling, put that veneer on baseball, basically. Well, you want I, that treatment. I want the bats to be made of different materials so the balls move much, nice. much more quickly yeah. and are more lethal. And um, I think that's going to be cool because then there's going to be a real like, scary oh, element. I game. got it on that. And this kind of thematically goes with your basis thing. So they don't have a bat. They have a broadsword and they can hit it with the flat end like a bat mm -hmm. or they can hit it with the sharp end and it splits the ball in two. Yep. <laughs> and so then they're headed towards either third or third. And you have to field both halves. Yes. Yeah. In order for them in, by the time they get home. But there's a little gold coin in the ball yes. oh. that comes free when you cut it in half. And if an opposing player can get to that coin yes. and swallow it, yes. then everybody's out. Now we're talking. Yes. Is it chocolate? It's got a little chocolate in it. Oh, cool. Yeah. I but like also, that. for reasons I don't understand, some asbestos as well. Oh, yes. man. Yes. Um, oh. Listen, I'm just baseball. I'm here. Yeah. And I am ready to talk because. You just want baseball to contact you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just I want the concept of base. To I don't want to hear from Major League Baseball. Boring. Yeah. I want the concept of baseball I to film. Can there okay. be like, I don't know, robots? Are there robots in the Japanese? <gasps> I league? had a robot waiter come serve me at Hoff's Hut the other day. 
You know, so they could do it at baseball. So yeah, yeah well, there could be baseball. Each team could have one robot. Okay, they're okay. talking about having robot umpires. Well, there like, should be yeah. two seasons. Yeah, oh. two seasons. Oh. Now. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's cool. But not you're just you're just talking about the same kind of robot that oh, I'm tells you when. Small. A, I'm thinking. Small, no, no, yeah. you, the, you're talking about the kind of robot that says the ball was uh, over the line in tennis, which right. is basically just a sophisticated laser system. We want real beep beep burp burp. <laughs> Mm, yeah. It is my turn to bat. <laughs> Droids. Suck on this. Yeah. We want those kind of robots. I, I clink, clank, yeah. clink, clank. Yeah. Did you ever play baseball? I played stickball a lot when I was a kid. Oh, okay. Jesus. So you're not coming from like a position of like, you're coming from the I've 20s. played this and I know it not needs even to little change. League? You yeah. Little you didn't play any little league? No, I tried to play little league when I was in my 30s and they. <laughs> I was discouraged. I, I didn't play Little League either. You say it like every... I thought every kid played Little yeah, League baseball. Too. We I... did have a stick ball. We had a, a wall that had a spray-painted uh, strike zone, and I played stick ball a lot, which I loved. And and we'd play it with a tennis ball. Okay. It was a lot of fun. You were sounds... a little rascal. I really was. <laughs> I and I, I played the it, scamp. and yeah, I would sell newspapers that said the Hindenburg exploded, and then I would go play stick ball with my Jesus. friends. And then oh it was time God. for all of us to go up to our tenement house and Ma would cook us some yam stew. <laughs> then we'd listen to Roosevelt on the radio. All right, that's it for now. I'm waiting for your call, baseball. <laughs>